morning guys it's currently 8 a.m and i'm going to get potatoes for breakfast do you guys ever feel the need to like pull up to a random ass church and just attend the wedding yo every time i buy potatoes i forget how stressful they are to cut but i just look at this thing now like who who is going to do this work bro this is so annoying <laughs> a little bit yellow i barely you guys i barely use the yellow part of this light because it just looks too yellow my eyes i can't see my screen the light is <laughs> too much i was talking to ife yes no day first day i think and she was like guys so i that your light is bright because she went to buy the light because i'm an influence see no, i still had the influence because after i got after i did my video she was like ah this light i'm gonna get it and she actually went to get it so if you have a brand if you have a product you want me to you know talk about email of my my email is always in the description anyways hi guys welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen i don't know what this vlog is i just woke up and started vlogging because <laughs> i was going to make breakfast usually in my house um we eat bread every day and then some few lucky days we decide if there's yam or plantain or something we make something else you know so today this morning i decided to just go and get potatoes from across the street and i made potatoes and egg you guys saw me doing like a, you guys saw like a b-roll of all of that i'm getting good like okay you guys i'm a very aesthetic person but i'm lazy that is i think that is the downfall god forbid my youtube will not fall down just there <laughs> but like that's like what has made me not be where i should be by now because I'm too lazy to actually do shit. Because like, I have all these ideas like, oh, I'll start the video like this. They'll be like, this, this, this. I watch a lot of videos. I pick up like cute like tips and all of that. But like, oh yeah, transfer it to your own channel. And I'm like, yeah, I don't got that time. So I made breakfast and I just finished watching Plank Desk's video. Um, I'll link it here. I think this is where it is. Yeah. I'll link it here for you guys to see. Um, it was like she's talking about a revamp of her channel, which is something that I've actually wanted to do for a while. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you know that I used to do a lot of updates videos, updating you guys on like what I'm going to be doing, my posting schedule, blah blah blah, all of the stuff. I think I did a lot of that in 2020. Um, and then I think I did a few last year. I really think I did a few like a lot last year, but like 2020, I did a lot. I'm sure. I'm going to be doing that um soon. Um, so expect that. Um... So that's how I've not done my room because I actually, as I was about to start, my dad called my name. I went out and we ended up doing my brother's room. Anyways, I was just sitting down and as we were. The material is outside. I'll show you guys the material. So, while we were arranging, we found this material. It's two yards. And this is... Let me go back to my room. This is my... My grandfather's burial material. Um, well... I just looked at it. When I saw it, I was like, oh, that's grandfather's material. My, my, my dad gave it to me. Um, he was like, yeah, yeah, you're doing practicals and stuff, you made materials. So I touched it and I was just like, oh my god, I miss him so much. And it would be, it's ironic because he died when I was like 10. I was 10. Um, his burial was 2011 February. Was it February or March? I think it was March. Um, because my sister got married February. And he died like around the time of her wedding. Um, and... I just honestly feel so sad. I miss I miss him a lot. Which you'll be like, bro, you didn't even know him that much. But like, yeah, you might think I didn't know him. I, I, I honestly feel like if he was still alive, he would be my best friend. Um, I started accounting because of him. Um, I just wish he could see me today. All grown and pretty, and the first quote-unquote grandchild to graduate from the university 
at least I was privileged, I was privileged to meet him. Like there are a lot of like the grandchildren that were born after he died and all, but like I just miss him so much. Like and he's so weird. Three days later. You know one thing I love so much in this. Ah, I'm looking very rough right now. To ignore it, but like you know one thing I love. When my parents go for events and come back for food, for, come back with food for me, it makes me so happy. Cause like you guys were there, you guys talk about me. You guys did not just think, oh she's gonna eat indomie. And like, <laughs> cause my dad just went. My dad went for a burial today, and he came back for he was officiating, so obviously they gave him food. But he came back with like four plates of rice. <laughs> Like three big plates and one small plate of rice and a bar and a fang soup. Guess what I'm eating this night? <laughs> Yo, me and uh, me and me and soup food by what's the time? This is almost ten. This is literally nine forty seven PM. And I'm about to swallow a bar. But like that's what, what what when is actually the best time? That this is the best time to swallow a bar. It's short twelve AM. Perfect. Let me show you guys. Tell me what is better. Tell me what is better. <laughs> Your some people number one thousand naira. Guys, so I've been feeling love in jail numbers since yesterday, and like I literally just randomly posted to like check the food and it's literally one one one. Yesterday I got two 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 and three three three. What the fuck is going on? Thankfully, I don't have long nails anymore. Just for now. Spirit, please. Do, 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 do. 